Hi YouTube, here is a tour of my solar system. It's an outback grid tie with it's an outback battery backup with a grid tie inverter in the mix. And I've wired it between series and parallel. Uh, I've got 10 solar panels here. I'll give you a tour of them all. Uh, 10 solar panels. 190 watt solar panels uh, About 30 30 volts when the sun's out So series together that's 300 volt system And I've got it wired to where it'll series in parallel. I've got four four and three panels wired to series together so I've got four panel series four panel series and three panel series that go to this combiner box right here it's got three 15 amp breakers in there and what that does that allows me to when I'm operating my grid tie system that allows it to be series and it puts it at 300 volts uh, my grid tie inverter will only start working at 150 volts, so I've got to series them together to get the most power out of it. Let's see, right now we got 200, it's almost dark, 275 watts. I've produced 12.1 kilowatt hours today. It's kind of been a cloudy day. That's my grid tie system, and here's my off grid system. I've got two outback inverters. A battery bank here with 10 battery bank 10 batteries let me explain this a little bit I have it switched to where I can go right now it's in grid tie I always leave it in grid tie if the power goes out which it does out here on occasion I can go switch these to the middle turn them on to parallel <coughs> and now Let's see, this will kick on. It's on, it's producing 25 out. It's coming in at 70, 70 volts. That's because I switched from series to parallel. So I've got the four panels, the four panels, and the three panels wired in parallel with each other. And then this is what I get out of it 24.6 volts, 11 amps. Of course, it's, it's getting dark out. So that's all it will produce uh, it'll produce 60 80 amps at 24 volts at you know when the sun's out which is enough to charge my batteries these batteries are about shot um, I bought the system it came with 25 batteries that were shot and I took the best eight or ten of them here and I get about three kilowatt hours out of them which is good enough if the grid goes down for a while um, two Outback inverters. I bought this system, the Outback system, and the batteries and the solar panels for $4,500. bucks. And what I did was I sold the, scrapped the batteries, got 300 bucks out of them. I sold, the system came with four of these Outback inverters and I cut this thing in half. It was a big panel on both sides. I cut it in half and sold that and the Flexmate had a, a Flexmate so I came out pretty pretty good on the deal but that's my system it's in my little wheelhouse here that I built for it I bought the grid tie inverter on eBay for 750 bucks uh, miscellaneous wiring and flexible conduit there I uh, picked up that up at Lowe's and the wire at Lowe's, so a couple hundred bucks there, maybe 300 bucks for parts and stuff. And I've got it coming out to my panel here. I've got the grid coming out to my panel. And I've got the, and this is my panel, it feeds my house. So here's my house feed, or that's the main coming into to the, to the panel. Uh, if I turn that off, then I'm off of the electrical system. I can turn the 
the battery backup on okay if this is a generator interlock switch that I put on here uh, and here's my grid tie inverter I can shut it off if I'm on battery backup but that's it folks hope you enjoy the show there's my goats climbing on my little chicken tractor my chickens all right Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.